your day so far? Oh, well, I mean, it, it was okay until I missed. I had, a, I had an interview before, and then I had, a, you know, at four o'clock, and then I was supposed to talk to you. And I don't know what happened, you know, but I just it wouldn't go. So I've had another one since then. I spoke to a guy in Chicago. And uh, so now I've got you at last. So that's good. That's good. We've got you there, you know. So where are you, where are you speaking from? I'm, ca I'm calling you from India, Pete. Oh, are you? So wh where, where are you in India? Yes, I'm in India, Pete. Yes. <laughs> where? Where? Oh, I'm in the deep where? south. I'm in the deep no, south. Where? 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 No, where, where about, where about in India are you? Where? Uh, I'm in the deep south, closer to the Indian Ocean. All oh, right, right. It's funny because my, my, my son uh, Stevie, who's also a, a singer and a guitar player, mm -hmm. he just got back. He just came back. He was with a bunch of friends. He's got Indian uh, friends from Bangladesh. So he just oh. got back two days two days ago. He was uh, he was over there for a week. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> and, of course, yeah. and of course, I I was there. I, we played there just uh, just before the, the 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 pandemic thing started in 2019. We played up in uh, Imphal, up by Imphal, was it? So, the the Imphal. festival up there. Yes, yeah, the northeastern part of the country. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Aye, amazing. So I've never. Aye. So it's nice to talk to you. Anyway, good. Amazing, amazing, Pete. It's a real pleasure. So Pete, your 25th studio album, Surviving the Law, is to be out on April 15th. So can you tell me a bit about the songwriting and production behind this new album? Well, I was, I tell you what, Keith, it was, it was one of these albums where we had a, a lot of material when we went to record it because we started, uh, well, we'd already written a few things, but we started, you know, with this lockdown with the pandemic, mm -hmm. everybody was stuck in their house and at their home studios with nothing else to do except write songs. So <laughs> we ended up with a lot of songs, mm -hmm. as you can well imagine. So after about a year and a half of doing that, mm -hmm. uh, we met up We met up to go in, into the studio. But before we went into the studio, we had to sort of work our way through all the songs that everybody had and sort of see which ones we wanted to use and, you know, to, to use it. So it was, it was quite difficult because it was a lot of good songs. But what happened was um, Jimmy, our guitar player, mm -hmm. and Carol, the singer, they both uh, recorded solo albums uh, just, uh, just before, you know, uh, when we did, uh, just before we did um, uh, Surviving the Law. So a lot of the material that they'd written that we didn't actually use for Nazareth, they've got them on their solo albums as well. So the, the songs didn't go to waste, you know, they all got used. Amazing, amazing. And was there any particular concept that was put behind this album? I, 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 no, there's not really a concept. No, I mean, I think, I think what happened is, especially in Jimmy's case, uh, there's a, there are a couple of references to, well, you know, when you're writing songs, you can't help but sort of write what's going on round about you. And um, yeah. <laughs> when people have been stuck inside because of a plague, you're going to find some, you know, in the writing that's going to affect it. So there was a few, there's a, I think there's a few mentions like waiting for the world to end and things like that. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the whole album isn't about, you know, it isn't a really sort of, a, a plague album. It's not like that at all. You know, we've got, uh, but I think it's a quite, I think um, the album's quite heavy and quite dark in places. So I think that probably got something to do with it. <laughs> Absolutely. And Pete, do you have any plans on the day of the release on April 15th? Well, so for, for, so for live dates. On any plans that on April 15th that the album is getting released, do you have any special plans on that day? Well, we've got, see what happened is a lot of the stuff was, you know, over the last two years, things have been getting cancelled tours everywhere, you know, mm -hmm. because you couldn't go anywhere. In fact, right now, I mean, I should have been playing uh, last night, we should have been playing in Kiev in Ukraine. We were supposed to be in Russia the week before. So that was all cancelled, as you can well imagine. Mm -hmm. um, they, they, I should have been playing in Kharkiv tonight. Um, so what happened is a lot of the, a lot of the tours from last year, as well as that, got, cancelled because of the COVID thing. So we're trying to catch up, you know, where a lot of things that were booked for 2020, we're doing them now in 2022. So we've got a lot of shows booked from sort of the summertime onwards from starting in June 
July, then we're very, very busy right up till the end of the year. But uh, so obviously we'll be playing songs from the album and 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 these dates, you know. But there's a, you know, there's there's a lot of work. There's a lot of things to be done. It's going to it's going to take us right until next year. You know, if we want to you know, tour properly with this album, it's going to have to be into next year as well, just to take care of all the places that we couldn't play. Mm. Sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. And uh, uh, you have put up a video for Strange Days, an amazing video that you have worked on that one. And do you also have plans to make more videos in the coming days, Pete? Well, no, the, 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 there was only one video made for, you know, these days but when the, 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 the budgets are allowed by the, the record companies, they wanted, you know, they want a, a video for the first, the first track that's to be released. And that was the, that was the one, really. And then they did another sort of one of these lyric videos for the next track. But now I don't think there'll be any more videos. Uh, but we were thinking about possibly doing something, some kind of live thing maybe later this year. You know, we've we've talked about doing even maybe a live album at some point. So I think we might think about doing something like that and maybe make that a make that a video as well. I'm not sure. We've been talking about it, but you know, we're not really. There's nothing really sort of decided yet, but now that you mention it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is the 54 years of celebration of music for Nazareth and the 25th album from you guys. So do you have something special on your mind to make this a big celebration to celebrate the history of Nazareth and the music? Well, the, this, well this is the 25th album, you know, that's quite a milestone, really, you know. Yeah. Uh, if, so I think that alone is uh, quite something, you know. So the album's number twenty-five, and I'm seventy-five. So you know, I don't, I, I don't. Um, I'd, I'd like to make another one. I'd like to make a number twenty-six if that was possible. We are actually contracted to do another album, so who knows? I mean, within the next, probably start working on that in a couple of years' time. But right now, with this one, we just like, uh, you know, it's, it's it's a good album. We've been looking forward to it coming out. So to see the reaction of our fans. So we're really looking forward to going out and playing some of the stuff from that live, you know, just to see how it goes. Amazing, amazing. And uh, it's uh, the second album with Call Sentence uh, being 28 years tattooed on my brain with his first album and this is the second one. So how he is yeah. getting along with the Nazareth family and how is it like, feels like working along with him? Well, it's, no, we, um, the newest, the guy, you know, our singer, Carol, he joined us now, well, it's seven years now he's been with the band now, so it's quite long, and now he's done two, you know, two albums with us, so we've got, we've had this lineup now for the two albums, it was, uh, you know, we're, we're playing tighter together, we know each other better, you know, that, as things go along, so it's been really, really good, you know, it's, um, it's, it's, it's all come together well, and these last two albums, and actually, th this album and the, and the last one, Mm -hmm. they're, they're not just good albums. They're not just good albums. They're two of the best albums that Nazareth have ever recorded. I mean, you know, in our career, they really stand out as, a, as, as very, very, very good. So I'm very proud of these two albums, you know, and the fact that we did keep manage to go that length of time and against kind of heavy odds, really, you know. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. And uh, did Dan had an opportunity to listen to this new album and what is his feedback about this new Nazareth music? The, the, so with Dan, do you say? Yes, Dan Caputi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Dan, you know, when, when we did uh, when we did Tattooed on My Brain, Dan was, he was actually in the same studio doing a, a solo album at that point. That was in 2018. Uh, and he quite enjoyed coming in to visit with us when we were recording. But this time he's he's been too ill now. He's been too sick, you know, since uh, since then. So he couldn't come to see us in the studio. But he's heard uh, some of the tracks from it, of course, you know. Uh, and he and he thought it was great. I mean, he loves it. You know, he just uh, it, I mean, he thought Tattooed My Brain was a fabulous album, um, and and this one as well. I'm sure he, I'm sure he wished he was singing some of the tracks because he really liked the material. But I saw him a couple of days ago, uh, well, three days ago. He lives only five, we live in a couple of villages very close to each other. So mm -hmm. I used to, I usually see him quite a lot, but because of the, you know, because of the COVID thing and him having this, you know, bad lungs, uh, I haven't been visiting, you know, everybody's been staying away just in case they, they give him some infection, you know, so, um, but you know, he's, 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 he likes, he likes what's been, 
he likes what's been happening with the band. He likes the he likes the noise we're making these days. Amazing. <laughs> It's amazing to hear that, uh, Pete. And the history of the band goes way back to 1968 with decades and decades of music and awesomeness from you guys. So how do you feel about the history of Nazareth and the music that has been created and the fan base that has been around the world for you guys? Well, I mean, it's been a long time, Keith. You know, it's, uh, I mean, we're going back. Uh, there was some, I was being asked some questions about some albums today and I couldn't, I could hardly remember you know, back to the, where where we them so so long ago, you know, um, you know we say that's why you know we just take each album as it comes, you know, because you, you it's, it's hard to it's hard to you can't live in the past, you know, um, yeah. and I, I mean we've had a we've had a we've had a really good we've had a, a really good run. We've made we've made a lot of albums, and the one thing is we never ever ever wanted to make albums that all sounded, you know, we didn't want albums that sounded the same. You know, you know, you get some bands, you know, you have, especially like your heavy metal mob, they come in, they make a record, and the next album sounds exactly the same as that one, and the next one sounds exactly the same as that one. It's the same, same um, type of material, the same noise, and everything. Well, we've we've avoided that our whole life, you know. Um, yeah. This album doesn't sound like the last one, and the material on it doesn't sound the same. You know, the songs are all different. Um, so we like to, I'd like to think that we did, you know, we like to diversify in our music all our career and I think we did it. I think we, we did it quite well. I mean, some albums were better than others, but there was never any of them that were saying, well, that one sounded like that one because it didn't, it never ever did. And I'm quite proud of that, in fact, you know, that, that we we came through making good albums that without having to make part two of one, you know, that, that you know, the one before. Amazing, amazing, Pete, amazing. And Pete, uh, would you like to share some of the most amazing moments that you had the last few years? Well, I mean, the last few years, the, the, one, one of the most, funny enough that you should ask, was one of the most amazing moments was playing that uh, festival we did up in India. And that's, that, was, that was absolutely incredible. There was something like 40 or 50,000 people there up in the, up in the mountain there. And it was just, uh, it was quite amazing. It was just, uh, it was such a buzz to be doing something we'd never thought. If somebody had told me 50 years ago, I'd be playing someplace up in the foothills of the Himalayas in a, 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 a festival, I would have laughed at them, you know. So that was a definite highlight. I mean, that's the one thing that we've all been talking about for the last couple of years. Anyway, um, there's things, you know, tours that go on. We do so many tours in so many different countries. And there's things happen in them all, you know, and, and so it's uh, the, there's so many things happen. You forget things that are happening, you know. We did just before we, um, before all this. This last two years has been very, very nothing, hasn't it? Has been absolutely nothing. So the two years before that, the, well, just the year before that, we played. We did a, oh, we did a tour of. Uh, did a tour of Brazil. We did a tour of Russia. We did two tours there. We tour in Ukraine. We did toured all over Europe. We toured. I mean, we, we well, and we came to India. So you know, we've been that whole year. We played in places that we went to more places in that year than most people will go to in their whole lives. You know. Yeah. So I'm so I'm very lucky doing the job that I do that I've managed to, you know, get to go to and see this great world of ours. Amazing, amazing. And uh, Pete, what would be some of the upcoming plans for you? The sort of the upcoming... Sorry, what you say? Uh, I was asking what would be some of the upcoming plans for Nazareth? Uh, well, um, like I say, I've, we've got, um, we've got, We've got a lot of shows to play. We've got a lot of catching up to do after um, after all the cancellations of this last two years. So it, we're just going to be really, really busy. I mean, I, I think, um, I mean, as I, I was saying before, I, we, we've considered maybe doing, we, we haven't decided on it yet, but we're thinking about maybe doing a live album. You know, after we've got this one out that's been released for a wee while, we'll maybe think about doing a live album um, just between this one and the next studio album, if you like, you know. So kind of got plans for that, but mainly that we're just we're, we're just trying to fill and play all the 
all the shows that we missed, you know, that we should have played. And the problem with that is when you miss shows, there's always new shows coming in and you're trying to take care of the ones that, you know, that you missed, but you're still take, trying to keep people happy taking the new ones. So you find out you're getting a, an awful lot of work to do. You know, so, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I think I'll, um, I don't know, but take a big deep breath and just see what <laughs> <laughs> and Pete, finally, what would be the message that you want to give to your amazing fans around the world? Well, they are amazing. I've got to say, the, 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 we, we have got amazing fans through, throughout the world. I think most bands do, we're, but we're very, very, very pleased uh, that, that, that everybody stayed with us all these years. Um, it's been very encouraging, you know, all the way through this, um, this pandemic. The amount of people that have been writing, you know, and you know that they're, you know, they've all, they've all been, they've all been having their own troubles, but they're all asking, all writing to ask how we're doing and how we're getting on. Everybody still asks about Dan and how he's healthless because of this, and they're all very kind people. So anyway, I'm dying to come out and see as many of them as possible in this next, between now and getting the next album out. <laughs> so, so see. I'm, play to as many of you as possible and uh, like I say thanks very much for sticking in there and hanging in with us all this time wonderful Pete wonderful and Pete I want to thank you so much for giving me this opportunity today to have this wonderful interview with you it's a real pleasure and honor for me <laughs> and thanks for making amazing music for many many years and I, I wish more years to come from Nazareth with more great music from Nazareth. And thank you so much, Pete, for this. Well, Keith, it was my pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for speaking to me. And I'm sorry about I missed that the mix up earlier. On. Oh, no problem. It must, be getting, it must be getting late there. What, you're about 12 o'clock at night, one o'clock in the morning? It's almost going to be 12 in the night, Pete, but it's all good. Aye, 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 right. Aye. I'm you so see, happy. I've been, it's funny, I've been talking all the other interviews today. I've been talking to people in America. And they're five and six hours behind me, and you're five and six hours ahead of me. You know, it's <laughs> like, you know, I'm in the middle here. You know? <laughs> anyway, you take it easy, pal. You take it easy. Take care of yourself. Take care. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye.